Hi everyone, I am Arina Yakupova. In this episode of Shanghai Like a Local, we explore how to ride e-bike. We cover how to purchase, how to register and all the key aspects to know before hitting the road. First, let's go to purchase an e-bike. How to choose an e-bike? What should I keep in mind? Dani 所有都要确认它是否和出厂的一个规范一致 Do I need a license if I want to ride an e-bike? 它是不需要驾照的 因为它是符合一个新国标电子的一个规范 所以直接上牌就可以了 To apply for a plate, you can go to non-motor vehicle registration centers directly and the list of the center locations can be found on Suishin Ban app or you can book an appointment through the Sushin Ban Mini app on Alipay or WeChat within 15 days of purchase. Access the Shanghai Traffic Police section, select Vehicle Registration on the left. Choose e-bike, your e-bike code and provide personal details. After scheduling online, you need to visit the local traffic police station to do the final registration. And now you need to bring the following documents for registration. Uh, one thing is very important when you go to the center, don't forget to bring the new bike with you. And uh, the invoice of the bike, the certificate of the bike, and the, the 3C certification of the bike, and uh, your valid uh, uh, passport or uh, other identifications, um, something like that. Okay? And uh, finish all this, congratulations! <laughs> uh, you will get a license plate. Now when we are on the road, we should follow the rules, right? Yes. What are the rules important to keep in mind? Uh, okay, according to the regulations, uh, you know, um, safety is always the number one priority. So uh, when you're riding, uh, a safety helmet is a must. You know, when a traffic accident happens, uh, our head is always the most uh, vulnerable to be injured, right? How many people is allowed to sit on one bike? One bike, one person. And don't carry a person who is, you know, over the age of 12. Um, people uh, under the age of 16 are not able to ride the bike on the road. And besides, people uh, over the age of 12 are not able to sit on the back seat of the bike. Another very important moment is speed. What are the limits? Uh, yes, um, you know, um, to limit the speed of the electric bike is an important measure, you know, to ensure the traffic safety. Um, so, uh, what you need to do is that uh, when you're riding, please maintain the speed under 15 kilometers per hour to keep safe. So, um, here are some notices on parking the bike, okay? Uh, first, don't park the bike on the road or on the sidewalk, okay? It's very dangerous. Um, actually, you can park the bike uh, at uh, the non-motor vehicle parking spot or the place that will not affect the traffic or other people. That's okay. What about fines, if it happens? Uh, so yes, okay. Uh, actually, today I, I want to remind uh, all the foreigners uh, living and uh, working in Shanghai uh, that our Chinese laws and the Shanghai regulations apply to them as well as locals. So uh, please be very, very careful when riding on the road. Uh, like um, don't run a red light, uh, don't ride uh, in the opposite direction and get off the bike when you pass the, uh, pass the sidewalk, okay? It's very dangerous. And if, if you violate 
the traffic regulation and you will be fine okay mm. and you will get a traffic ticket from the traffic police officer and you need to pay the fine immediately uh, there are two ways to pay the fine okay the first one is cash and the second one is to uh, to scan the QR code on the traffic ticket and please tell yourself be careful next time don't do that next time e-bike brings convenience but it comes with responsibilities i wish you safe riding i'm arena yakupova take care